Come in. It's you. I didn't expect to see you, especially at my place of work. What is it that you're doing here? You wanted to see me? You wanted a reading? Well, I mean, yeah, that's what I do here, but... I thought maybe you just were trying to find a way to talk to me or something. No, I, I'll give you a reading. Was there something in particular you were looking for in a reading? A romance one? And why might that be? Actually, it's none of my business. But if that's what you'd like, then that's what we'll do. Okay. We're going to be doing a six card spread for you. I don't usually do these because they can be a little time consuming, but I guess you can say that you're a special customer. Now, the way that I do my readings is probably a bit different than others. Although I'm not particularly sure because I've only ever done my own readings, so I don't know how others do it. But the most important thing that you have to do is shuffle the cards. And in order to really feel at peace in the energies and everything that's within the cards, I personally shuffle them all either on the ground or at my desk or wherever I am just to feel like I'm with them. And I like being able to feel every single one of them and I don't feel I get that same vibe if I were to shuffle them per se like this. See, I just, I need to feel like I'm with the cards. So therefore, I bring them here and I lay them all out and shuffle. I also like to close my eyes, just so I can really envision the cards in my head as well. Now, putting them into a deck, I believe, is the most complicated part because I fear of what I'm putting at the top. So I also try to do this with my eyes closed, but it's hard because all the cards are like facing different directions. So I try to do it to the best of my ability with my eyes closed, but I sometimes have to open them to figure out what I'm even doing. All right. I've finished shuffling, and now we're doing a six card spread for finding a compatible partner, since I'm going to arrange the cards in a bridge-like pattern. 
as it's your bridge to finding the right person and making sure you're taking all the right steps. So, now that I've laid out all the cards, I'm going to explain what they mean. Now I have a little booklet to explain, and it's going to explain what the card means based on its definition, and then I can try and give my own perception, but really it's up to what you think. So our first card is telling you where are you in your search for a partner right now. And our first card is a forward ten of cups. Now, I'm going to describe the card to you as well. And of course, not everybody uses the same tarot cards, so not necessarily every card is going to look the same. But for this one, we have ten cups. And... There's two people, a man and a woman, it looks, and they're standing next to each other with the man having his arm wrapped around the, room, the woman, and there's a child as well, um, or what I'm assuming is to be a child, and there's a little house in the background, and it just looks like I'm getting this vibe as if they are doing well, or at least happy. So, this card, the definition... You have created a life of connection and bliss by following your heart and trusting your intuition. There is a sense of wholeness, completion, and alignment in your relationship with others. So right now, I feel like you're in a good point to be looking for a relationship, as your other relationships that you're in right now seem to be doing fairly well. So I think right now is better than ever to be looking for someone. No. Our second card is talking about your challenge in this moment. And with that, we have a two of swords with, again, what appears to be a woman with a blindfold around the eyes and there's a moon above her head with two swords. And for that card... You are facing a challenging decision, a fork in the road, but you are unsure which option to take. Look closer. There are aspects that you are not currently seeing that will help you make the right decision. So maybe you're kind of stuck. Even if you have these relationships that are working out for you right now, you might not know exactly what you want to do. There might be somebody that you're looking for, or maybe you're not even sure who you're looking for, but you feel you don't know when's the best time to either reach out or how to do it. And I say you should go with your gut, because... Based on the spread so far, it's seeming fairly positive. The next question is, what part of me needs acceptance and love? And for that, we have a reversed devil card. And on there, we have two people that have little horns and the devil tail. Um, you know, it's just a lot of, like, devil-like images. So, I'm gonna tell you what that means. Be aware of self-sabotage and self-destructive behavior. Release any self-imposed limiting beliefs that are standing in the way of your growth and expansion. So, while the card may seem a little intimidating looking at it as it's the devil, I honestly believe it's not so bad as it's reversed and... You might just be thinking too much about things. I think as long as you take a step back and really reflect on who you are as a person, everything should be okay. I think you're doing your best and... Although we haven't really seen each other in a while, you seem to be doing fairly well. So, I believe that there's really nothing to worry about as of right now. Our next question is, what needs to be shed or let go of in order to move forward? And for that, we have Reversed Strength card. And with that, it shows a woman, or what I believe to be a woman. And they're holding some sort of animal. I'd have to guess like a lion. They're holding it like... They're petting it. Um, and yeah, she's kind of just like looking off. She doesn't look like she's looking at it directly. But for that card, I will tell you exactly what it means. 
You are a powerful force. You just need to connect with this inner power in a constructive way. Others may question your strength, but you are fierce inside. So what needs to be shed or let go? I think you need to let go of any doubt that you're feeling. Because as this card is already telling you, and even the previous one as well, is that you might be feeling these doubts or wanting to self-sabotage, but as long as you realize that there's more to yourself than any bad things that may have happened in the past or any negative characteristics you have, there's still positives and better things. And you shouldn't only focus on the negative because it's only going to bring you down. For the next card, the question we're asking is, what's the best way to approach finding the right relationship for me? And with that, we have a king of pentacles, which is standing upright. And we have, I can't really identify the gender. Not that you necessarily can anyway in this silly little picture. But it looks like someone who is looking off and they're holding one of the pentacle thingies. And I don't know, they just seem calm. But I will tell you what this card means based on readings. You are experiencing financial loss, poverty, and feel isolated and alone. Help is nearby, but you are too focused on your financial problems to notice. You may be sabotaging your ability to create abundance by focusing only on what you lack. So, it's asking what's the best way to approach finding the right relationship. I think, especially if you're having issues, with finances, then you should really focus there, and don't let that get the best of you either. Because even though you might be struggling in the financial department, there's always going to be people there for you to help you get out of that. And you have to remember that too. And even if you're not struggling with finances, it could be a metaphor for something else. Like how you might be struggling with yourself, or your self-image, or maybe how you appear to others. Just Focus on what's most important and work on that straight away. And for our final card, it's asking, what is the most aligned action you can start taking today? And with that, we have a king of cups facing forward. And it looks like a king looking out at the ocean while he sits on a throne. And I will read you exactly what it means, as I always do. You are in control of your emotions, and you have the maturity to feel your feelings, without allowing them to get the better of you. You balance the head and the heart perfectly, and are the master of your inner and outer worlds. So, basically, it's telling you that, even with these doubts, you still have the mental capacity to do whatever your mind wants, and whatever your body wants, whatever your heart wants, anything. You have that ability, you just have to let yourself truly feel it. So, all in all, I think that if you're looking to be in a relationship, I think, if anything, this reading probably helped. Because it's pretty positive, and you seem pretty happy just being able to look at your face and see you in person. So, what do you think? You are ready for a relationship. Well, I bid you good luck with whoever it is that your heart desires. You want to ask me something? Yeah, go for it. Anything. Would I be interested in, in you? I mean, is... W what do you mean? I, I thought you just wanted a reading. I didn't know that you you had feelings for me. I, I really wasn't expecting that. Um, I mean, I, I sorry, sorry, I just, I wasn't expecting that. I, my answer is yes, that my heart desires you as well and i didn't do any of this on purpose i didn't make this positive you saw me shuffle the cards i just 
I didn't expect the outcome to be quite like this. But I hope that I can help you on your journey now that the two of us are one. Just caught me a little off guard. But I'm pretty glad that our session ended like this and... Yeah, thank you. Thank you for finding your way to me again. <laughs>